guys this is Jamie and welcome back to my channel so for today's vlog I'm gonna be sharing with you another low carb recipe and this is one of my favorite food and also palagi akong nagka-crave sa food na to so I decided to share this recipe with you guys and lalagyan natin siya ng konting twist so this is the low carb cream cheese stuffed chocolate chip cookies and Itong recipe na to is perfect for people like me na diet conscious but also has sweet tooth. And also, perfect din to sa mga tao na nagka-cut down on sugar and carbs. And para din to sa mga taong diabetic. Kasi ang mga gagamitin natin na ingredients for this is low-carb ingredients. So, pwede ka pa rin kumain ito. Para kahit na you're on a diet, you can still eat something like this. So, if you guys are interested on how do I make cream cheese stuff, chocolate chip cookies, just keep on watching this video. And it goes a little something like... Alright guys, so yung unang-unang natin gagawin is the cream cheese filling. So for the cream cheese filling ingredient, we need 1 cup of cream cheese. I will just put it here inside the bowl. So next, let's add 1 half cup of softened butter. Next, we need one and a half cup of powdered sugar. So, by the way, guys, yung sugar na gagamitin ko dito is the erythritol sweetener. Kasi, um, based dun sa mga nabasa ko sa group sa Facebook, sa keto group, is um, ito dapat talaga yung ginagamit when it comes to cooking or baking. Kasi, hindi pala pwede yung mga equal gold or yung mga stevia naturals. Kasi once na nainit siya, nagre-release siya ng chemical na nakakapatrigger na magpataas pa lalo ng blood sugar levels. And yun yung isa sa mga iniiwasan natin while on keto diet. So, I suggest na bumili rin kayo nitong Erythritol. So, nabili ko siya sa Shopee. And the shop is called Nutrifines. And I will just link it down below. Okay, so, I will be putting one and a half cup of powdered sugar. But I think 1 cup is enough. So, depende yun sa preference nyo kung gaano katamis. So, yun. Kung nakukulangan pa kayo sa tamis, dagdagan nyo na lang siya ng erythritol. And then now, I'm going to add um, 1 tablespoon of vanilla. So, since wala akong nakita na vanilla extract sa mga groceries, ito na lang yung binili ko, yung vanilla powder from All About Baking. So, I will just put one tablespoon. Alright, so now we're going to mix it using this electric hand mixer. So, we just need to mix it for medium. On medium. Okay, so the mixture should look like this. Ayan, ganyan siya. And then, what we're going to do next is, gagawin lang siya, uh, isi-shape lang natin siya into small circle. Tapos, i-freeze natin siya sa freezer for 30 minutes. Alright, so, I'm gonna be using this 1 tablespoon measuring spoon para ma-shape ko yung cream cheese filling. I will just put it here dito sa plate. So it looks like that. Ayan, 
Ayan, so I'm finally done. And ito yung itsura niya. I know, hindi siya ganun ka-perfect, but it's okay kasi siya naman yung ilalagay natin sa feeling. Hindi naman siya makikita. So now, I'm going to put this inside the freezer for 30 minutes. Alright, so habang naghihintay tayo na ma-freeze yung ating cream cheese feeling, now let us make the cookie dough. So for the cookie dough, we need 3 cups of almond flour. And by the way guys, nabili ko pala tong almond flour dun sa same shop na pinagbilhan ko sa Shopee, dun sa, dun sa Nutrifines. And I will also link it down below. So next, we need 3 fourth cup of softened butter. So yung brand na nabili ko is Angkor Butter. And yung masasuggest ko pala sa inyo na butter is yung Angkor or yung Magnolia Gold Butter. Kasi sila talaga real butter sila. Yung iba kasing mga nabibili natin ng mga butter sa mga groceries or supermarket, hindi talaga sila butter. Although nakalagay is butter. Kasi in reality, margarine sila. And yung margarine, hindi siya allowed while on keto. So next, we need 1 half teaspoon of baking soda. So next, I'm gonna add in 1 half teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Ayan. But if you don't have Himalayan salt, you can just use the regular salt. And then for the last ingredient, I'm gonna add in 2 eggs. Then I'm just gonna mix it. And, and take note, guys, na bawal nyo siyang i over mix. Kasi pag na-overmix nyo siya, baka maging liquidy yung kanyang consistency. Dapat yung consistency niya lang is ganyan siya na doughy para mabuo yung shape niya na circle. Um, guys, nakalimutan ko palang maglagay ng sweetener. Buti na lang yung oh, no! So, we need to add in one and a half cups of erythritol sweetener. Ayan, tapos mix lang natin siya ulit. Ayan, so dapat ganyan lang yung consistency niya na doughy siya and hindi watery. Okay, so now, maglalagay na tayo ng chocolate chip. Um, pero... Wala pala akong nabili na chocolate chip kasi wala akong nakita na pwede sa keto na chocolate chip. Yung nakita ko lang is yung unsweetened na chocolate bar. And this is from Dutch. Ayan, ganyan yung itsura niya. And nabili ko to sa SM for only 115 pesos. So if ever meron man kayong mga makita na chocolate chip na low carb, then yun na lang yung gamitin nyo. So dahil wala tayong chocolate chip, itong chocolate bar... Uh, maanin ko na lang siya. Um, pag, I will just cut this into small pieces. So, since this is unsweetened, hindi siya matamis. Ano lang siya, lasang chocolate lang siya. Medyo mapait. But it's okay kasi matamis naman yung ating ginawang dough kanina. So, yan. Kakat ko lang siya into small pieces. 
ganyan. Um, depende sa inyo kung gano karami yung ilalagay nyo. Depende yun sa um, preference nyo. Tapos, gusto ko pa siyang dagdagan ng konti pa. So, ano, advice ko lang pala sa inyo guys na before niya siya hihiwain, make sure na napalambot niyo na siya on room temperature kasi pag straight from the fridge siya na hiniwa niyo, medyo mahirap kasi sobrang tigas niya. Kaya dapat medyo palambutin niyo muna siya para mahiwa niyo siya ng maayos. So, I think this is enough. And then, I will just put it into the cookie mixture. So, I'll just fold in the chocolate into the um, cookie mixture. So, ayan. Ganyan siya. Um, dapat hindi siya ma-overmix. Dapat yung consistency niya is medyo doughy. Um, hindi pwedeng maging watery yung kanyang consistency. Kasi pag naging watery siya, hindi siya mafoform as circle sa oven. So, ayan. Ganyan lang. And yan. Ganyan na yung itsura niya. Alright, so by this time, you can now preheat your oven into 175 degrees Celsius. Tapos, nilabas ko na din pala sa freezer yung ating cream cheese mixture. And ayan, matigas na siya. So now, I'm going to form the cookie dough into small balls. So, kukuha lang ako dito ng cookie, cookie dough mixture. Tapos, yan, bibilugin ko lang siya. By the way, I'm just using my hands kasi wala ako nung ice cream scooper na maliit lang. And ang nabili ko kasi sa Lazada is yung malaki na ice cream scooper. Tapos nung ang nangyari, nag-spread out yung cookie dough instead na ma-form siya na bilog. Yun, nag-spread out siya. So I suggest na dapat yung gamitin yun na ice cream scooper is yung 4 cm lang. So, ayun. Ayan. Kuha lang ako ulit ng cookie dough. Tapos, isi-shape ko lang siya na circle. 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 And then, I will just get this cream cheese mixture na ginawa natin kanina. And then, lalagay ko lang siya dito sa center. Tapos, babalutin ko lang siya nitong cookie dough, yung cream cheese filling. But, ayun. Don't worry, guys, kasi nagugas naman pala ako ng kamay ko kanina. Okay. Tapos, nilagay ko lang siya dito sa parchment paper. Ayan. Tapos... Gawin nyo lang siya hanggang sa maubos na yung inyong mixture. So, actually, this is, um, this is actually my first time baking this chocolate chip na merong cream cheese filling sa loob. And I just hope na it, na it will turn out successful. Sana, fingers crossed. Bale, nakita ko lang kasi to sa Pinterest. Originally, nakita ko siya, hindi low-carb yung kanyang recipe. So, medyo inalter ko lang yung recipe. Like, yung sugar niya, pinalitan ko siya ng erythritol. And then, instead of flour, pinalitan ko siya ng almond flour. Alright guys, so finally I'm done shaping my cookie dough and ito na yung itsura niya. So I'm going to put this inside the oven and bake it at 175 degrees Celsius for 12 to 15 minutes. So see you guys later. A few moments later. So ayun guys, I'm finally done shaping the cookie dough. And now I'm going to put this inside the oven and bake it at 175 degrees Celsius for 12 to 15 minutes.
Alright, so after 15 minutes, our cookies are finally done. So, I will just... So, tatanggalin ko na siya ngayon sa oven. Ayan, be careful kasi mainit siya. And here it is! Tada! Alright, so finally, after 15 minutes, we are now done baking our cream cheese stuffed chocolate chip cookies. And here's our finished product! Yay! Okay, so now, tikman na natin siya if anong lasa niya. Okay, so here's my cookie. Ayan. Look at that. It's so perfect. Tapos, Ayan. Medyo malaki yung pagkakagawa ko. So, ayan. Mmm! Oh my gosh! Tingnan nyo yung cream cheese niya, ah. Oh my gosh! Masarap niya guys. Oh my gosh. Masarap talaga siya. Kaya, and tamang-tama lang yung kanyang tamis. And nagko-complement yung lasa ng cream cheese niya dun sa dark chocolate. So, hindi mo siya masyado malalasahan na dark chocolate siya. Kasi matamis yung nilagay natin na cream cheese filling. Alright, so that concludes our video for today. I hope that you like this video and if nagustuhan nyo, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you will be updated whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Until my next vlog, bye!